So welcome to this stage, stage 28 of Build the Fear and this week we're going to begin work on the right rear suspension. This is very similar to the left, uh, the left rear suspension. Some of the bits are obviously going to be uh, mirror imaged. So we've got three metal pieces. We have the right rear suspension and the right rear suspension arm mount one and two. These are all metal and <coughs> we have HM screws. Um, because I we're only using one screw in this build, I've got mine ready in the pot, um, as I often do, with the spare screw being put into my pot, uh, my spare screw spot. So the first thing we want to be doing is we want to take this arm and we want to position it this way around with the recess in the middle. And then we have two of these one of which looks quite flat and triangular or sort of a fork shape and then the other one which is the piece that we want is the triangular shape it looks again it's a bit forky but it's I'm going to call this one triangular and that's going to go on with the pointy see you've got a locating tab there for screw that's going to go on like that and that will be secured from the outside with an HM screw. And right, so we need to line up the holes so that we can see through them. Doesn't matter what position this is in because this is going to move. And that screw should go through freely, straight through. There we go. So then we know we've got it in place and then we just continue to screw it so the screw actually goes that the hole in this arm and on the right side as you're looking at it of the um, the arm mount that those holes are slightly bigger than the screw and we're actually going to be screwing into the left hand side of the mount and that's where the screw will make connection if the screw was the same size as the hole then there would be too much friction and there would be no movement and there we go that's in nice and securely so that's stage one and two complete so now we want to turn it over to this way so that we've got this uh, locating part of the top and we want to take this um, should we call this a forky bit and we want this so that it's pointing away from the suspension and that will go on like so and that will be secured from the inside with an HM screw. So whereas this one was done on the outside, this one will come in through the inside. So both screws will be pointing in the same direction. So I should have, whoops, I should have got my screw ready to begin with. My bad, I do apologize. So have the piece upwards and then we line this up so that we can see all the way through there it is and it's quite difficult to hold it into position but once you've got that screw to go all the way in there we go straight in and then we're just hoping to get the opposite side and then we'll just screw that up as far as it wants to go and there we go and that's on so that's moving nicely so that will actually go on to um, I believe it will go on like so possibly that way round um, and then obviously there will be a spring in there and then that will be able to move as suspension does so that's the end of issue 28 um, again this is one of the um, drawbacks well it could be an advantage actually with being a vehicle you, you, you often have to mirror both sides if it's a stage that you enjoy doing that's great because you get to do it again um, if it's a stage you don't enjoy quite so much then unfortunately you've got to do the same thing twice um, so I hope to catch you in the next issue the next issue is going to be stage 29 the rear right suspension again and we will actually be fitting this to the chassis um, hope to catch you next issue